Many vineyards across the Finger Lakes region and southern tier are still recovering after the initial widespread damage to their grape crop from last week's cold. And with this morning's risk for frost, one local winery decided to take some extra precautions. Meteorologist Christine Gregory has the details on that for us. It's been a brutal couple of weeks for many vineyards across the Finger Lakes as another round of late season frost from last night prompted one local winery to take precautionary measures on their vineyard down by Keuka Lake after being hit especially hard from last week's cold. The first time we weren't very prepared, I feel. Um, and really, you know, I think there, there's not a ton you can do. I mean, obviously people who have frost fans, that's amazing, um, but expensive infrastructure that we don't have. Co-owner of Living Roots, Colleen Hardy, told me that after already losing nearly 50 to 70% of crops last week, her fellow co-owner and husband decided to light multiple small fires as safely as possible around the perimeter of the vineyard between 1 and 6 a.m. to keep the vines as warm as possible. Colleen says it's hard to say how much this method helps. Even if we just feel better for having tried and hopefully it actually does make a small difference. I mean, I was sweating being around the fires and keeping them going and whatever, you know, how far that heat goes, I don't know. But, you know, for us, that was that was an achievable step we could take to, ho you know, hopefully mitigate any further damage. Because of this, wine yields are going to be significantly lower for many growers, including living roots. But Colleen says she's hopeful that the damage is not as bad as she initially thought. You know, I'll be very curious to see over the, the coming couple of weeks when we kind of see the fuller effects and the secondary buds start um, coming out. So we we will see some um, new growth, which is which is exciting. While supply and demand for wine will become a trickier issue to navigate, only time will tell the true effects for this season. Reporting in Rochester, Christine Gregory, News 8. Thank you, Christine. For more inside information about how local growers like Living Roots protect against frost damage, you can check out this full article at rochesterfirst.com.